This freaking day in day out invading every last bozo and their mother just might start negatively affecting my most handsome good looks. Nah I'm just messing. Only by about the time hell freezes over, and I stress their might, come another with a likeness comparably handsome as yours truly so basically no way no worries. I mean just look at this mighty mug. Featuring a beak that puts small amount in chains to shame. No, we're in no danger. Just what kind of party did I stumble onto here? Well the music just quit, but I know one thing to elevate any party atmosphere. Swinging an ultra great sword around a confined space namely this tiny mid-ears waiting room. And Richie here was a good sport, in fact he was a boss hunter extraordinaire as you all shall witness in another clip. Yes Richie will be back. With a vengeance. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Back to the grind. Sweeping up every and any ember indulgent excuse for a main protagonist of this game foolish enough to prance around my favorite hunting grounds. I've smashed all comers so trust me when I say that rarely did they live up to their username, as successfully as this featured Mr. Letdown. And there we go, the main event. It's time to get done like a boss. First on the cut shortlist this most unfortunate sunny sunbro. Booted off with prejudice by a roll kill, you are fired. Another cause for immediate dismissal who even hired a mage in the first place. Get down. Yes Richie both your phantoms took a little dirt nap. Vengeance is to be all yours I am the real final boss. Kill me and win a chance to skip the end game credits. Yes I already told you your phantoms reside below. And the full on god like I'm gonna stomp you out like a boss experience is yours alone to try and recollect later on when the swelling hopefully subsides. Hope you do enjoy. Doing my best to hook you up with all the greatest boss hits hope you do appreciate. Look at me. How rude. You know kissing your immediate superior's posterior goes a long way in this world. Same as any. Okay then tough to impress guy why don't you show me a trick. See how I like it. Wait what? Where'd he go? Oh right I knew this was him all along yeah he transformed. Okay then you didn't fool me but I'll give you a 10 out of 10 for that one. Honestly now you really plan to just stand here like a lummox in the end. And I had you pegged for a great boss hunter. You really had me going on that one but honestly once again you are about to make history. And perish in the most dishonest way known to Dark Souls players worldwide literally death. By point down. Next. Listen here and listen good if you can bear to stand hearing me being half serious for the next half a minute or so. And seriously it's twice as hard for me being even half serious as you can already tell. So the baby host here unironically wielding the baby weapon that is the exile great curved sword. Got all swollen in the seat of his pants over getting chopped into a fine dust by my clean axe custom twin axes. And I'm not kidding. Let me tell you a story here real quick. Four score and seven years ago on my first ever playthrough of this game I for the first and the last time used the exile. Cool looking weapon indeed but it's the biggest crutch in this game. Makes this objectively already easy game completely unmemorable when you first try most bosses in your first ever go. And they say Dark Souls does not have an easy mode. Twin axes on the other hand have decent damage and that's about it. To make them work a lot of distance management and timing is involved as you can see here for yourself. So would you find it entirely laughable? When an obvious baby know it all sends you a most unflattering message after you dispose of him. Claiming how you cheated him out of a fair fight due to your for lack of a better word. Lazy weapon choice. No I didn't think so. And neither would I. Uh. 
sounds reasonable enough. Well now you really got me I have to admit I wouldn't dream of even standing a chance in that scenario fair play to you good sir. I'll be on my way now please don't hurt me I beg of you kindly and appeal to your good heartedness to spare me. I simply have lost my way but I vow to be nothing but true blue from here on out thank you.